think if you're a supplier out there that can help a retailer really connect on such a deep level with uh, with their consumers mm-hmm. and with their shoppers, uh, you need to share that story. So. Well, let's talk about that for a second, especially for you know the small to medium Walmart sure. suppliers who want to make that connection and really understand who their core customer is. What are some of the things that are kind of the best practices for Valori or things that you've done to really yeah. understand your customer, to be able to connect with them, and then go back and make that case for the Walmart buyer? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So at Valori, we do spend a lot of time um, trying to understand our customer and what it is that they want today, but also, of course, what it is that they're going to want tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we go out and have real conversations, and we, and we talk to them, and we look at who's putting our product in their basket, and, of course, ask the questions why and, and try to get to know at a deeper level and you know with that being said we do know we listen to everything that they say but we also know that actions you know sometimes speak louder than words and uh, uh, to give an example when we look at like the the core consumer and that buys La Costanian and our Humax items uh, one of the things that we kind of hear over and over again is hey you know what going to the shopping store touching items and and putting them in my basket, it's important to me. And when we ask why, you know, they talk about how when they were younger, they would put on their nicest clothes, the entire family, they'd go with all their siblings and their parents and grandparents, and the entire family would go to the grocery store together, and it was an event, and they would spend two hours at the grocery store. You know, and now that they're older, they want to replicate those experiences, and they want to take their kids and their grandkids and do the same thing. And so we listen to that, and we look, and we realize they do have those experiences. However, those experiences maybe are only happening two or three times a year, in some cases, right? And... You know, so then we'll start to ask more questions and talk and we'll realize, you know, the individual that's telling us this, maybe they're not the primary shopper in their household, yeah. right? So it might be the spouse or even somebody else. And uh, the spouse might be leaning and taking advantage of some of the new technology and some of the other avenues uh, that are out there nowadays and and using OGP in some of these things. So we'll look at all that and we'll kind of take a holistic approach and we'll start asking a lot of questions, both internally and and with our customers. And, you know, for that particular example, some of the questions that we would ask or we would go and we would say, hey, we know that the in-store shopping experience is important to our customer and we know it because they tell us and it's part of their heritage and they're passionate about it, right? So we'll ask retailers and we'll just say, hey, what can we do to help you with the in-store shopping experience? Because it is important to our customer. At the same time, like I said, actions sometimes speak louder than words. Sure. So we'll look at the other side and say, we can't ignore technology and really the shift that's going on and what's going on there. So we'll also ask a lot of those same questions and say, how can we get involved and make sure that we're covering all bases when it comes to that side of things. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow us online.